Hi everyone, welcome back on my channel, the Rota Palitska International New Artist and Educator and today we are going to do this beautiful set I have recreated for my client, you can have a look in here. A very colorful and bright full design, uh, kind of tie-dye and uh, all sorts of rainbow colors on a one meal. And I will show you full step by step how to recreate this look. Hope you really enjoy it. Also, you can see my new background <laughs> because the fireplace broke. So yeah, we have painted this rainbow with Oliva and you can also uh, see it on the channel. How much fun we had at uh, recreating. <laughs> Uh, those kind of lockdown art on the window. Uh, but let's start doing this uh, great tutorial. Your clients are going to really love it once everything is over. So uh, we are going to do this uh, beautiful kind of ombre tie-dye design. And I have to take every single opportunity to produce something because I have no models at the minute. Uh, there is also a tutorial of this beautiful uh, unicorn on the channel. How to sculpt the nails, you can find it on my previous tutorials as well. There is a um, detailed explanation how to sculpt an almond shaped nails. Just go back and search for that. And uh, the design which we are going to create, it, you have seen it uh, already. And I show you how to achieve this look. So I have prepped my nails. I'm going to gently push back the cuticles and then paint it with the white gel polish. I'm just pushing back, remove any bits and pieces. Clean it with the blue scrub. It's a nail dehydrator. Just to make sure everything is nice and ready. And then I'm going to apply the color number 173, which is white. Gel polish. So nice and neat around the cuticle area. Pull the side walls down. And we are going to do two layers of the white and then the rainbow tie dye design. Okay, once I'm happy, I can pop it into the lamp <coughs> and give it a fuel cure. In the meantime, on the side, I'm going to prepare a few colors which we are going to use and the sponge. So that's the sponge which we are going to use. And this one is actually from Shinti's pretty nice ones. And you've got some spare heads uh, as well. So I'm always keeping a tiny bit of the cellar tape on the side so I can clean my sponge. They will be always mess on top of it, like bits and pieces, and you really don't want to bring that on top of your design. And the colors which we are going to use will be some nice yellow, some nice yellow, pink, I think green is a must have as well. And I'm working with the Neonial Gel Polish. I will give you a link uh, in the description as well. So the link in the description. I can give you to the how to sculpt the almond and also the link to the products I'm using as well. And a blue, of course, we need some blue. There we are. So that's the blue. So I've got the products ready in here. And then I can paint the second coat of white. And it always looks much nicer on white, like as, uh, all the neon colors and pastel colors looks a lot of nicer on the white. Now I'm going to give it another cure. And then once my nail is cured and the sponge is ready, I can start picking up the colors. So I'm going to apply some yellow, green, then clean up the sponge again on the side. We also want some pink. And 
you can put the tape to protect it or you could use a small brush just to go on the sides clean again and we're going to use some blue in here yellow and i'm start blending those colors in push back my cuticles Okay, they take the tiny, tiny brush so we can work around the cuticle area. And I'm going to pick up the lighter color just to distribute some of this color around the cuticle area and the yellow. I don't want to go too close with the cuticle, uh, to the cuticle with the sponge just so it doesn't go all over. It and the pink. Now I can start dabbing in again. You want the colors to kind of mix and blend together. And then once the first layer is done, pop it into the lamp. Clean your sponge again. And we are all going to add a little bit more. I don't like to also use a new sponge because it doesn't have any product on it. And uh, gel polish is pretty thin. Uh, so it's kind of really quickly absorbed by the sponge. So now that's the yellow. And I kind of want to go over the previous colors with it as well a little bit. Clean the sponge again. And then the blue was here. Clean the sponge. Then I've got some pink and purple here. So it's a really nice and interesting look. I can pop it into the lamp just to give it a free skewer and do the final touch-ups. So nothing overly too complicated. It's maybe a little bit time-consuming time because we have to put to the white and then we have to um, do all these colors, but I think it looks really pretty. Okay, and now I'm cleaning my sponge. I want to blend this area with the yellow. Just so everything looks nice. Okay, and then I can pick up the small brush and do the last bits and pieces right on the top then apply the top coat and basically that's my design finished so you can see it from different angles and i think it looks really nice and interesting kind of an ombre tie-dye uh, rainbow uh, design and definitely matching my unicorn uh, style of nails as well uh, so if you have enjoyed this tutorial, let me know down in the comments below. Also, feel free to request uh, other different tutorials. And remember, check this uh, sculpting technique of an almond shape nails because I explain it uh, how to get a nice and uh, slim look with it, where to place the apex and how to pinch the product as well. So definitely a tutorial worth a check and I will give you the link in the description. So that's my design cure and I can apply the top coat and the top coat also kind of gives it an even nicer look smooths out everything it depends how fussy we are we could go like and blend even a little bit more I think that's just match the unicorn actually I wish all of them would be this now 
And the picture you have seen as a thumbnail, that's a set I have done for my lovely client. I do really miss doing her nails because she always lets me do whatever I want to do. And I, I really enjoy doing uh, those type of kind of unique uh, designs where I can just use my imagination and create whatever I want to. I bet you all got those kind of clients which just tell you like, oh, you can do whatever you want to do. Uh, of course, I wouldn't put some stuff which I know she's not going to like because we do know their personalities. We know like what kind of accessories they wear, what kind of fashion they, li they like. So it's quite kind of easy to uh, to find what they are going to like on the nails as well. Another thing like there is tutorial on the channel of this nails and that's on rainbow ombre done with the sponge technique. Uh, so lots of lots of different things uh, if this is a first tutorial you are ever watching go back to those previous uh, movies because they are really worth a watch and that's the finish it look so I can show you from all different angles yeah and I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial thank you so much guys bye now